Hi, this is Uwe, Data Golf 2 Yankee Charlie Bravo. A new version of WSATX and WSATX Improved is ready for download. It is a great new joint release 3.0. Yeah, in this video I like to show you what's new and I also like to demonstrate you a couple of things here live and online. Well, as you know, um, I'm always uh, summarizing the things um, here in uh, this announcement mail to you, uh, which is uh, published via the WSATX Improved Community List. For those of you who have not yet subscribed there, I highly recommend to do so. So, first of all, we have uh, upgraded the standard WSATX to the level of my WSATX Improved 280. Why? Because uh, the features are now really proven and uh, a lot of you uh, are really uh, using it with great success. So we thought it was really time to uh, also upgrade WSATX to that level. Joe also uses this and finds it helpful. And then simply for practical reasons, uh, it makes no longer sense to maintain two separate um, source code data sets. So from now on, WC, the standard WSATX is technically nothing more than the I plus version of uh, my WSATX improved, of course, um, customized a little bit in a way that it looks like WSATX and that WSATX improved looks like WSATX improved. From now on, WSATX improved is also now officially our platform for developing, testing, optimizing certain new things. And once they have proven there, uh, we will port that back to the standard WSJTX so that also all of you now um, yeah, get the advantages of all of that. I think it's quite useful. But then the true highlight of this new edition in my eyes uh, are improvements to the eight FT8 decoding performance. Well, I started an initiative on that some months ago. Um, the decoding performance of double, both WSJTX and WSJTX Improved have always been very good, sometimes even excellent. Uh, but you know my motto, sometimes even good things can be improved. So why not to try to make it even slightly better? My motivation was also that in certain cases, for example, when you worked on two meters or also when the bands were very crowd crowdy, uh, crowded, uh, in some cases uh, JTDX brought one or two decodes more and of course this was a full motivation for me to try to bring our WSJTX, WSJTX improved to that level. And the success is really not bad, which I like to show you here in this video. What did we do? Well, first we together, all together, really managed to further uh, in, uh, prove the decoding sensitivity of the existing FT8 decoder. The existing FT8 decoder uses single threaded technology, has uh, these controls here, you know it, uh, setting deep brings you the most uh, sensitive um, yeah, decoding performance. You have also normal and fast. This improved decoding sensitivity may have the side effect that slightly more false decodes may occur. Here in my system, it doesn't play a role. Uh, I heard from others that uh, they got a little more false decodes. Those of you who do not like that false decodes have two options. First is simply switch to normal because normal now means more or less that setting which we had previously as deep uh, in terms of decoding sensitivity. And also um, as those of you who already have used my improved editions uh, know, uh, we have now also here this false decode reduction available. So if you check reduce false decode decodes, then the number of false decode is also being reduced. But that's not all. Roger and I um, yeah, started even uh, developing a completely new FT8 decoder. It uses multi-threaded technology and it is now available. 
You can activate it simply by checking this checkbox, use multi-threaded multi FT8 decoder. Then it's on. The multi-threaded FT8 decoder, shortly MTD, has its own set, set of controls. Here, you can find it here under parameters. You find here uh, the number of threads, the decoding cycles, the QSO RX frequency sensitivity, the decoder sensitivity, and so on. Um, I have programmed it in a way that also those of you who have been perhaps also used uh, WS, uh, uh, JTDX uh, are quite familiar with these settings. New here in our decoder is uh, this year decoder start. You find here these three Stay three uh, uh, options, early, normal and late. When you start the multi-threaded FT80 coder for the very first time, it would bring you here normal. This is a good starting point for you. What does it mean? Well, in JTDX, uh, we have this uh, normal start uh, time and you have there a checkbox early start of decoder. This is what uh, we have here with this option decoder start early. In JTDX there is also the option to use this so-called uh, SWL mode, uh, which then has the effect that the decoder starts very, very late, which might bring you one more <laughs> in some cases. Uh, I have programmed it here also, so you have here these three options you are familiar with from JTDX, normal, early and late. However, the true highlight in my eyes is these two settings here, two stage or three stage. It means if you enable two stage, and by the way, two stage is my personal recommendation for you, then the two decoders are combined the single-threaded decoder and the multi-threaded decoder. It is here called two times and here even three times. So if your computer is powerful enough, then my recommendation would be to try two-stage. It then calls first the uh, existing single-threaded decoder and after that also the multi-threaded decoder, which has the uh, advantage or combines the advantages of both. Uh, for example, you are then also getting here this nice early decoding technology from our existing decoder, but also get the uh, multi-threaded uh, technology. There you see the first and now comes the second step. Um, the multi-threaded decoding technology, which will bring you, in some cases, some decodes more. When the signals are clear and um, there is little to no QRM and the signals are strong, of course the difference is not that much. However, you may have already seen here, there is usually a trend that this, uh, at least this combination of our single-threaded decoder and the multi-threaded decoder brings you some more decodes. Let's uh, test it a little more systematically with audio files. Uh, I hope you know that um, you can um, save your audio files and can uh, load them here just by clicking on file and open. So I have um, here a couple of examples. For example, here this one which was recorded on um, 160 meters. Well, um, the uh, old version uh, 2.7.0 uh, brings you here 90 uh, uh, 39 decodes, which is really great. If uh, we do the same here with um, the um, slightly improved single threaded decoder, <coughs> you see it brings one more. And um, if we now here go to use multi threaded decoder and do the same again. it brings you 43, 43 compared to 39, which uh, yeah, is not bad. Or let's do the same again with um, 
really weak signals. For example, here this signal from a Swedish station. I um, saved here here on two meters. It is not decoded here with uh, WSJTX270. If we do the same here again, you see we now two decodes from the same audio signal. Uh, it was here a little bit. You see there might be might have been interference um, due to reflections from planes or so. Though the signals here are not um, not very good. However. The old decoder was not able to get them and the new decoder is now able to bring two decodes from the same signal. Or another example of a very weak signal, this uh, Echo Alpha station, I think it was recorded on the 6 meters band. <clears throat> if we do the same here, we now get here this decode from Echo Alpha 1 Hotel Romeo Romeo. Um, this is also a decode um, or an example. Let's do the same here with JTDX, where we are now really even better than JTDX is. Um, it is always the case that uh, sometimes here and there uh, you can get one decode more or less, but uh, this is reproducible. So it um, is really uh, was really successful what we uh, yeah have done with the decoding performance. I think it's enough to uh, talk about that. You can simply try it out. So to summarize it again, we really managed uh, two major improvements here. One is the improved decoding sensitivity for, for the existing single threaded decoder. It uh, usually will bring you one or two or three more decodes in some cases. The side effect might be that you have a slightly higher false decode rate. If you don't like that, go to normal setting. But then the two highlight in my eyes is this new multi-threaded FDA decoder. It is an option. You can use it here simply by making this uh, checkbox here uh, or uh, checking this checkbox. It has its own set of controls. My personal recommendation is here under decoder start the setting two stage because then the two decoders are combined. All right, these are the uh, things about the decoder. And uh, beside that, there have also been a couple of other improvements. For example, I thought here from my improved version, it was time also to introduce this here. You know, we have these uh, four territories. You can specify it in settings up to um, here in settings under filters up to four territories. Um, for example, here from me, Germany or um, uh, USA or whatever, you can uh, define it here as a territory. And uh, so far, you could um, hide the stations from these territories. So if you are just interested in stations from abroad, you could here hide these stations. I thought, why not also to make this option to um, highlight such stations so you can now here highlight stations from these four territories. Yeah, at the moment there is unfortunately no station from Germany here. Perhaps uh, in the next hours there will be and then you see it will be highlighted. So this is uh, one of the uh, other features. Then uh, Joe program something for the echo mode. Uh, here we have also done some things for some improvements for the MSK 144 mode. Now all messages to us are now really displayed here in the RX frequency pane. It was requested by some of you. And also a blank line is now inserted um, when receiving MSK144 signals uh, news also. When you use here my band hopping feature um, and band hopping is enabled, uh, you can now do a right click here on that band hopping button and it brings you to the next selected band. No? So for example, now we are on 80 meters. 
Now we are here on 60 meters. Another right cling brings you to 40 meters, and the next right cling should bring you to 70 meters FD4, and it does. So when brand hopping is active, uh, you can now do a right click here on that uh, bent hopping button to move to the next selected bent hopping uh, yeah, frequency. Uh, it was also a user request and I'm glad uh, it was possible to yeah, program that into introduce that. Some bug fixes to QMAP and Mac, Mac uh, 645, but uh, I think it's enough for today. The main things are upgrading WSJTX to the level of WSJTX improved and of course the new FT8 decoder and the increased FT8 decoding performance. Yeah, here I also um, gave you the direct links to the um, improved editions uh, for the yeah, most relevant uh, versions. Uh, please have in mind, note, that uh, we are now talking about version 3.0.0, meaning that all WSJTX uh, installers are now in a new, at a new place here in that uh, WSJTX uh, version 3.0.0 folder. And here you find all the various packages. Here the normal improved package with the normal um, user interface known from WSJTX the AL version, which you see here, the widescreen version, and the uh, other builds for Windows 32-bit um, Linux, Mac OS, and so on, and so on, and so on. I hope you enjoy this new release. Thanks a lot. This was DeltaGov2 Yankee Charlie Bravo. Bye-bye.